How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the Temple of Adventure. Something that looks a lot like an elevator, not actually a temple. I'm a little confused by that. But I just really recently finished watching Stranger Than Fiction, the Will Ferrell movie. It's the first time I've ever seen that. And that got me wanting to play a little bit more of the Stanley Parable, so I started fooling around with that. Then all of a sudden I hear there's a new game that people have been strongly comparing to the Stanley Parable, and that's the Temple of Adventure. For the Temple of Adventure, please report to the splash screens. Scared Square is the developer, that's the little logo up there. So I suppose I'm in the developer's office, the developer of the Temple of Adventure. Well, this, uh, this computer is not going to be able to do much. It's not hooked up to anything, no tower, anything like that. A little unreal security camera, it looks like. Some sort of fancy piece of art. Thought maybe it would be like a game design reward or something. Well, can't go in the men's room. Guess I'll have to use the ladies. I guess I'll just be holding it after all. Headphones must be worn at all times. Okay, I'm way ahead of you then. I already got that covered. Don't you worry about it. Anything else that uh, you need to report to me? Let's just carry on to the splash screens then. Then, <laughs> okay. So these are like what would normally play in front of the game. I guess you guys didn't see. When I started the game, it just started in the elevator. These splash screens where it would show who made the game, what it was made with, uh, credits, anything like that. That door made a regular opening sound and like opened at a regular speed and everything. I think it's just kind of fucking with me. I can't pick it back up. Guess I'm not that strong. Oh, there it goes. I did it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's not a door falling. That's just the regular door opening in that direction. But yeah, these splash screens. That's funny. I like that. Please take a number. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll just keep it in mind because I can't seem to actually keep it. I hear someone asking for ticket 21 to make their way to the door. I'm a long ways off. Sody Pops. What do we got? We got Cold Pops, Pineapple Crush, Lemon Blast, Cherry Fizz Bang, and Coral Drink 113. I can't actually hear it. Well, this guy's calling other numbers, other numbers I don't have. So let me just... goodness. Finally, someone's paying attention. God, I saw the narrator. Who's ready for the best adventure ever? Come this way. I'm ready for a good adventure. Right, I should, uh, introduce myself. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for the best Milford, adventure. And I'm the designer, director, level designer, pretty much wearer of many hats uh, when it comes to this this game that you're playing, um, the Temple mm, of so Adventure. Scared games. I, I mean, this isn't the game that you're in. Uh, you're just sort of in the front end at the minute. The game's coming up. You're on the way to the main menu, um, and you've just come from the splash screens. Uh, but before we get to there, though, um, I'm just going to show you a pre pre main menu cinematic um just to sort of kick things into okay so this room is the pre menu oh i feel bad that i interrupted his narrating uh, video room um some games Take have it away. for the main menu just to show you some some cool cinematics uh, to get you pumped um or it's kind of like when you go go-karting and they have that video they make you watch it's like a health and safety video uh that's kind of like what Come this on, is play it, um, man. I, I, so if you i don't could, have time for uh, this get the the lights uh turn the lights off and then before we watch the video oh yeah i can do that okay, sorry man great. didn't so realize you were waiting on me just hit play on the vcr video play Oh, fuck. Um, oh, shit, well, okay. I didn't fun. mean to, man. I thought I did it right. Uh, are you sure you pressed the right button? I'm following your instructions, uh, man, so don't get mad at me. Uh, well, what's supposed to happen is it's going to play a video that sort of explains the history of, of uh, the Temple of Adventure, the games, and the development, and what you're going to expect when you get through there. And um, I don't need the history. Let's just move on. With you watching it. I'll tell you what. I've got a script for the for the video. I'll, I'll get that and I'll just read some the important bits. Hang on. Hang on. You're just going to read me like the Cliff Notes version? Uh, skip. Where is is there a skip button? Right, I've got it, uh, I've got if there's it a skip button hidden basically. in the room like there would be on the, the actual the video? The is made for the Adventure Game Jam, uh, which is which is uh, currently happening, and um, it's the, the, the premise is it's the greatest adventure game of all time. Uh, set in these 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 cool temples, these Indiana Jones style temples, um, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna have an awesome time. The video actually showed a lot of the you know the really cool stuff from the game, uh, like really nice visuals, like 
ju- heaps of jungle and temples oh, and heaps all of sorts jungle. Of really I, cool stuff. Um, I, I, they never have enough jungle in games. In, heaps in of jungles, head, uh, what I'm looking uh, for. Then, uh, anyway, let, let's let's just move on and, and get get onto the game. All right, you lead the way out to the main menu then. Let's. Uh, that your description was just perfect. I loved it. Let's let's move on now, and you can get me to the actual temple, please. Credits, DLC, options, quit, the cheapskate, and the fast track? What do you think the cheapskate is? It makes it look like I actually have to run through everything. Does that mean rather than, like, purchasing the DLC yeah, and getting, like, immediate... The DLC room, um, but if you want, you can send a check to Scared Square Games, and the, the fast track is, is only just £70. Ah, you gotta purchase the fast track. No, it looks like I can just do it. Sorry, you can't go in there. We didn't. Uh, we didn't finish it in time. It's, it, it's just an empty room. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, you can't go in there. The exit's not been hooked up properly. Um, and also, you're not. You're not a quitter, right? You, you don't want to quit now. Just keep going. Well, get out of here with your lack of options and everything. I just want to leave. To hell with you, Stuart. Fine, I'll stay. I'll stay in the main menu. But I'm going to use the fast track, and I'm not even going to pay for it. Uh, unfortunately, you can't go this way without a fast Damn track, you. which will. Which should have cost you uh, seventy pounds uh, from the the DLC room. Can't actually do anything in there. All right. Well, I guess I need to put this video on hold then, while I write out my check and I'll, I'll fire that over, and then uh, then we'll get through that fast track. Not doing the cheapskate. No, it's gonna take too long. One week later. Uh, well, bounce to check. Guess I'll have to do the cheapskate way after all. <laughs> Fucking far out of the way. Is this thing gonna loot me? I don't want to alarm you, but. I- VCR player that you broke earlier, uh, it, it's now caught fire and it's it's spreading throughout the the earlier offices. Um, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't Fucking... worry too much about it, but it's it, it, it is spreading. We're trying to deal with it, but I just thought I should let you know. That Did that's, something that's fucky just happen there? Did I just go through a loop? In, uh, in damages. I think something definitely looped there just a moment ago. That didn't feel right. Wait a second. What just happened? Am I going the right way? Am I getting sent backwards? No. Oh, I see. I looped all the way back around things? Oh, man. I got really lost really easily. Oh, maybe it is doing weird time or, like, space warping. Hey! I think I finally am in the game. Damn it! (laughs) Still not in the game. I'm starting to wonder if there actually is a game, Scared Square. So this this lift is kind of like the loading screen when you when you launch a game. Um, that's what this represents. Only uh, kind so it of might take a little best. bit of time uh, for us to get to the to the next floor because it, the game is so so big. It's got to load all the the jungle and the temples and everything. So we might be in here a little while. <clears throat> Oh, there we go. I was waiting on elevator music. Thank you um, for providing that for me. Maybe I, I, I know. I'll, I'll light, I'll, um, I'll lighten the mood with a, with a bit of elevator music. Thank you. That's, you that's all I've been waiting the, for. Thanks, thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, so Although I do kind of wish there was like a nervous yeah. British guy yeah. who yeah. talked to me. I do kind of wish that instead of elevator music, there was just some nervous British guy who just talked to you about his day. Sorry about that. Hey, no, just, uh, don't need to apologize to me. I quite that, enjoy that style of music, actually. Um, Make elevators more thrilling. They're a little bit of a bore these days. It's always like the, uh, the, 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 the loading times you get on a, on a PlayStation, am I right? <laughs> you, it's a really bit of a challenge. You really get AAA experience here with, with, with this game. I feel like I'm I trying to stagger what I'm, I'm saying with what I'm he's saying. I'm time or anything, because uh, I'm definitely not... Uh, you know, well, I don't, why would I do that? You know, we'll, we'll be there soon. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here we are. Perfect. That wasn't so bad. But wait, in I, I consider myself quite a patient man, though. Not everyone's going to put Ooh, up with that. We made it. So Yay. behind this door, you'll enter the room. Uh, it's the room's dark. The lights will come on, and the level should the new the well the game should be loaded. The temple of adventure. <laughs> it's so, I'm stuttering uh, his way through this. And enjoy. Thank you very much. Woohoo! 
This game doesn't look very exciting, now does it? Yeah, look, this this is really embarrassing, but I've I've got to come clean. I've sort of kind of lost the game. I so mean, am I just getting kidnapped, maybe? So you've been running around the menu at the front end this whole time, um, and I've been stalling you a bit, trying to find where I left it, and I don't know where out. the actual game is in order to load it for you to play. Um, I'm really sorry. Uh, it's got to be around here somewhere, so I think uh, I'm still. You did your try best, man. If you just, just try not to make promises you can't keep in the future. A bit. Um, I tell you what, head this way, and we'll, we'll sort something out for you in the meantime. What are we gonna call this way? Back through the main door. Well, don't just send me looping back through everything all over again. Oh wow, so I was fun! Playing this AAA game the other day. Um, I, I don't know if you've played it or heard of it. It's called Skyrim. And in the uh, loading screens for that game, they have uh, objects from the game just like rotating around, so you can just <laughs> look at them while you're waiting. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do that. That was interesting in Skyrim once like or that. twice, but it got really um, old while, really while quickly. I'll just go and look for, for, the, for the game files, so I'll, I'll try and be as quick as I can. I but I mean, they obviously put a lot of time and detail into this plant bot here, so this, I don't uh, know this, if it'll ever get old. actually was made by one of our modelers, Tom. And he, he spent all, all day on it. So um, I hope you appreciate it. Fan look fantastic at it work. Oh, I do. I do how, appreciate how it. Went into that. I pass it, it along it, to Tom. It, it I, I love it. He was having some trouble with the alfalfa channels or something like that. I don't know. I don't really know. It's not really my area. Alfalfa but it's really channels. Nice, it's a really nice plan. Set of alpha. You should look at it. It's nice. Oh, don't worry. I'm looking at it. I'm looking over every I mean, I, inch I, I of it. The folders. I'm a hundred. I'm like. I'm 99% sure that it was that it was in there. I, I checked the game, the folder that's called game. I checked one that's called game underscore final. I checked one that's called game underscore final final. Game underscore final final two. That's how I fucking game name files too. Game underscore final with a bunch of mashed keys on the keyboard. And game <laughs> underscore, f underscore final 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 with the last final spelled in block caps. So you know I was serious when I made that's that folder. That's the and one. I, just don't I see it. would be embarrassed to show you guys my game folders. I'm like 70% sure. I'm glad to know other people do folders. that. Right, I just checked the recycling bin, and I found uh, a folder with a room in it uh, called uh, Death Trap Test Room, um, which looks like it could be something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load that, and we're going to go there, and we're going to just we're just going to start the game from there no. and, see, and see what happens. Okay? Don't so, start so being Death Trap Test Room. That sounds like a death trap. <laughs> sounds like somewhere I might die. Oh no, 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 Stuart, this is a terrible idea. You can tell Tommy did a great job modeling, but I don't really want to go in here, I don't think. The only thing I have to look at are skulls well, dark in here. and uh, levers. Maybe let's find a, a light switch, maybe a lever or something. What if I just hide in the corner? What if I stick to the shadows? Turn this into a stealth adventure game. Don't worry, I'll flick the lights on if oh, that's God, what you're so you worried about. The death trap. If you look up, you can see the spikes coming down. Uh, it shouldn't be so much a problem if you just hit the lever again. Uh, you should be able to set it off. Uh, it's gonna make it faster. Oh, no, no, just make it faster. It's coming down faster. Quick, do something. Uh, we've got some programming in the escape room. Oh, God, it's gonna kill us both. We're both gonna be stuck here for eternity. Oh, God, oh, no. Come on, let me just keep hitting it. Oh, shit. You actually killed me, you son of a bitch. And so the player respawned and went to rescue the disembodied voice of game designer Stuart Lilford, who was trapped underneath the death trap roof. Stuart confessed that although he and his small team had tried to make a game for Adventure Jam 2017, that they had been too ambitious. Stuart apologized for wasting the player's time and making him think that they were going to play a really cool game set in a temple having all sorts of adventures. Stuart started sobbing, but then he realized that the player had been on an adventure after all. They had caused explosions, uncovered ancient death traps, and the player had even saved Stuart's life. Both Stuart and the player laughed about their exploits and became lifelong friends for a brief moment before they were both consumed by the VCR fire the player had started earlier in the game, and they both died horribly. The end. Well, luckily it looks like nothing here is on fire, so if I just stay here forever, I can live in that happy moment right at the end of this year that they had become lifelong friends. Full stop. End of paragraph. Ooh, but I didn't even get to try the DLC. 
I realized the game wasn't finished, but I gotta purchase the DLC for real and then and then give it a try, right? The f <laughs> don't even have an apostrophe. For some reason, this font is missing the apostrophe. That just feels so crummy and stupid. <laughs> what the hell? Is that what the respawn was? Well, Stuart, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I think you made uh, an exhilarating game. Temples are stupid anyways. Everyone knows that Indiana Jones and Tomb Raider are stupid. They would be much more exciting if they focused on their office life instead. I think most people walk out of those franchises being like, man, I wonder what their life is like as a professor or working in a museum or whatever it is that Lara Croft does. I think you've taken that tried and failed formula and shaken it up and made something much more interesting here. I didn't realize the game was actually literally made for a game jam, so hence its shortness. But hey, that makes it a little bit easier to digest, just a small little one-off. It might not be as deep as the Stanley Parable or similar games, but I still like the concept of it. I don't think I've seen it done quite in this way where it's like putting you through the paces of leading up to a video game. I thought that was interesting and unique. Anyways, I hope you guys got at least a small kick out of it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.